Now, in this video, um, I'm going to be showing how to use the text mod and how to use different uh, skins and textures for your different characters. Um, and this is one of the main characters I'm going to show you exactly which one I was able to successfully get uh, um, and find. Which is a very hard skin to find for Gage, the Necromancer, which happens to be one of my favorite classes besides the uh, uh, Commando. Um, so, first thing you want to do is you want to go here and you want to get Text Mod. And that's this program right here. Um, and this can be used for <clears throat> many other applications, but it's mainly useful right now. For Borderlands 2. Uh, I believe it can also be used for Borderlands 1. And you simply just download it. And it will of course go to your um, your downloads folder. Wherever it is. And <clears throat> now as you can see down here I have the Borderlands 2 DXE. The original one. And the reason I'm saying that is because in this process, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to change out a couple of the files and rename them. And so one of them you're going to have to do when you go into, uh, let's see, you go into your Steam library. Let's see if I can find Steam here. You go into Steam apps like you normally would, common, there's Borderlands 2. Now, normally inside this Borderlands 2 uh, directory, what you're going to have is you're going to have this right here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and put that there because I don't use it because there's a reason you don't use it. And I'll get that covered in a second here. Um, but what you have is you have your Borderlands 2 and then you're going to have text mod put in here. Okay, then you open up, then you open up your downloads. And you'll see here text mod. And this will be the text mod. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to. If Windows will stop putting Windows on top of Windows. You go to your Steam. Now this is what you know you would do if you, you know like me you haven't done it yet. Open up your Borderlands 2. And see, you, now you're going to have this right here, okay, your, your uh, Borderlands 2 EXE. And you're going to have your text mod over here that you just downloaded in your downloads directory. You download, I mean you, uh, I'm sorry, download. You paste this over here. And then what you do at this point is now you're going to have text mod here. And you're going to have your Borderlands 2 EXE here. Now I'm not going to actually do this because I've already done it all, but what you do here, just for demonstrations, what I'm going to do is you go to, you right click it and you go to rename. And in front of Borderlands, you type in this, actual, with a capital A. And after that, no spaces, no underscores, no slashes or anything, just actual Borderlands 2 and you leave it at that okay so you're gonna have that there so then what you're gonna do okay so I'm like I said I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it in my scope my game right now so then you rename text mod to borderlands 2 and then you would hit enter and save that okay but I'm not gonna do that so because, like I said, I've already done it in my script, my game. So, you're going to have those two things inside your, your Borderlands 2 directory in Steam, and Steam apps. So, like I was saying earlier, the main important thing is now, you're not going, to, when you go to launch the game, and you want to run these new skins for whatever character you, you download for, you're going to to avoid using this to open a game with. You're going to be using text mod to launch the game from now on. And what's going to happen is when you open up 
uh, text mod, you're going to see this window right here. Let me get rid of that. And so what you do is you, you see this folder right here. And what this folder is, is your tar target application. And this is what this is asking you for is what, what application you're going to run the game with. And so when you click on it, you're going to want to run it with actual Borderlands 2, which was your original Borderlands 2 EXE. And so the reason you're renaming text mod to Borderlands 2 EXE is so that the textures know what, uh, what program to run off of and what game to go to. You, the actual Borderlands 2 EXE is what TextMod is going to look for as far as running the game. This is this right here, the, the TextMod Borderlands 2 EXE that you renamed, is going to be running the textures. So what you do is you click, you click on actual Borderlands 2. Now you have to do this every time you know you run the game. It's not a big deal. It's just a couple clicks. <clears throat> And trust me, it doesn't screw up the game or anything like that. I haven't had any problems. So, now, if you want to run the, the textures for the characters, the different skins, you go to this folder here. Okay? Now, it's going to naturally take you to the binaries uh, folder, usually. So, you go to Downloads. Now, see, I have all my skins here. I have text mod here. I got Moxie's, uh, it's kind of a skimpy uh, skin, so I can't show you that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit that one. But I'm just showing you, you can run more than one. You don't have to run just one skin. Okay, so I'm gonna run, I got two, two gauge skins, okay? Now, the reason I'm showing you two gauge skins is because this one here, the Psychosis, is the original one. This is the one everybody's having a tough time finding. And if you go here... Okay, so this is the video that, that Deftone put out. It was originally going to put the description of the link um, to the skin, but it's not here. But I was able to find it. And like I said earlier, for people who want to do the whole, oh, you're a pedophile, or, okay, this gives you the clear and concise age that she is 18. 18. Okay, so now that we cleared that up, I'm going to lower this back down. Ugh, so many tabs. And so this is the skin that everybody's having a tough time looking for. So this is the uh, link to the very skin down here. Um, Psychosis Gauge TPF. Now TPF is the files that it uses in the game to, to render these, these new skins. And whoever did this stuff really did a good job now as you can see here it's going to tell you exactly what it says in english just a download and this is for you know reporting to resources in case you know it goes bad or whatever it's a foreign site but it's legit um so you click on that and you're gonna get more foreign stuff up here for a second um now if you're like me you're using uh, chrome it's very easy to translate. <clears throat> I've used Chrome for so long. I don't even, I don't know how well the translating works on other uh, other um, browsers. Okay, so you download it. It's 31 megabytes, and you download it and you save it. Okay, so then you get in your download tool. It will say exactly this right here: Psychosis Gauge TPF. So once you do that, you get all that stuff together. 
So now I've found a downloadable content. I'm close to 80 years old now. So, <laughs> this is what the skin appears now. And that's how easy it is. It takes a few renaming of a few files um, and stuff like that. But then it starts to run. But um, so far I haven't found any skins for... Um, for poor Axton. Um, what I'd like to find is some some kind of old, old school woodland videos. Um, fucking claptrap so annoying. Um, or maybe some like a duck or Marpart or maybe even a chocolate chip cookie uh, camo. Uh, but so far, no luck. So you know, you know, it's pretty much focused around the main females in the game: Lilith, Moxie, Gage. Uh, Maya, which you know, it really isn't too surprising, um, but that's how you get it to work. Works really well. You can also do it with weapons. If you look on the internet, um, there's plenty of uh, weapon textures as well um, for like different rifles and pistols and everything else. So, like I said, you know, it's it's not that bad. It's not that hard, and I'll leave the links in the description uh, to all these downloads um, but if you're gonna go and get the uh, psychosis gauge uh, TPF that I'm using make sure you get a browser that can translate or get something in your browser that can translate but if you're running Chrome then it's no problem it just automatically translates it um, and other than that you just got to make sure that when you run uh, Borderlands 2, you run it through text mod, and you make sure you click up here on the files every single time you run it, and you hit the actual Borderlands 2 AXC that you renamed, and then you just simply just load the skins and then hit run. And so that's how it's done. And... I hope it helped out uh, anybody who had questions about the whole thing because I noticed, you know, some of the comments were months old and one of them was even a year old. But I hope that answered a few questions and, and how to get this to run. A lot of people were frustrated and, and trying to get these skins to run. They downloaded the skins, they downloaded things, but, you know, there's a certain order in which you have to rename the files and where to place them. <laughs>